Okay, my part just came in. My furnace has kind of been on the blink and it wasn't igniting. So I troubleshooted it and found out that basically all the switches were good. It's just the control board. It's a, what is it? A, a, a Crusader. It's a Carrier Crusader. Now I had trouble finding, uh, uh, Carrier doesn't want to sell parts to just regular people like they only want to sell to technicians but I found this uh, upgrade module that actually has a indicator LED light on it so it's an upgraded board for the same same unit so I was you know made by a different company so I'm gonna replace it fix my uh, furnace okay first things first I'll make sure the breakers flipped off before I start working on the furnace Okay, so let's... We got the power turned off. Let's get down in there. So we can start working on the... Start working on the... Circuit board here. Have a little uh, quarter inch... Uh, socket driver that makes it really a lot easier to to undo these seems like everything's done with that same type of size of screw okay so at this point usually I like to take a picture of all the wiring just because uh, I'm getting old and I can't remember exactly where everything goes and if I saw them every day it might be different but uh, I'm gonna take a picture of it first good enough so that should give me an idea of what uh, what connections go where I think I'm gonna connection here I'm gonna pull off the main power here as well as uh, the harness for all the controls It even has a little slot for it to fit in there. I think uh, the main gas valve, this one, is what went bad on mine here, my old one. Okay. Looks like these wires going to the thermostat are color coded, but just so I don't get things mixed up, I'm gonna let's see. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad I uh, I missed this wire when I was wiring it up. So I'm glad I took my pictures because I had a reference image to double check my wires against. So I think I have it all ready to go. Just a little double check. I think all the connections are made. They all seem to be on there pretty good. I think I will uh, test the unit before I put the cover back on just, just to make sure. So let me go flip the breaker. 
I'm going to hold down the switch here to get some power there and see if it kicks on. Okay. See if anything happens here. We got a solid light. Oh, it's doing something. Hey, that's a good thing. Sign. Got a click. Now, hopefully, the igniter will do something here shortly. To, uh, to trigger the, the gas valve here to, to provide the flame, so that's great. That's excellent. All right, I guess that worked. So now let's just replace the cover. fingers like me <laughs> so last time I had someone come out to service my uh, air conditioner I had a capacitor a run capacitor go bad and they charged me about 10 times the price that it was listing for just for the component itself so I found it found it at the local Granger for $12 they charged me $120 plus $60 fee for coming out and looking at my unit so I kind of understand I don't want to just give away parts, but at the same time, it feels like you're getting ripped off when when you uh, pay ten times the amount for the part that's readily available. So that's why I decided to try to do it myself this time. And that's it. Thanks for watching.